what's up squad y'all in here if y'all are in here i know it's a little bit early listen i'd rather be early than late go ahead and press the like button and share this video if you would please we're gonna get started in just a moment hey what's up y'all i am your girl candy and you know you watching straight from the a.com hey what's up y'all i am your girl candy hanging out with straight from the a this is Tyler Perry, and if you want the truth, a lot of blogs don't tell the truth. Straightfromnay.com. That's what you check out. Hey, Michelle, girl. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you just won't let me be great. Who are you, Michelle? You just you get me every time, girl. You ain't gonna miss nothing, is you? Hey, this is Darius McCurry, and when I'm not texting or shaving or learning my lines all at the same time while I'm driving. Uh, I'd like to check out uh, straightfromtheA.com. Yo, what's up? This is Cool Joe Goody. Yeah. It's T-Mo. Low down. We doing this thing straight from the A. Know that. Dirty. Can't you pay my bills? Can't pay my telephone bills? Can't pay my automobiles? If you can't, baby, look at you. I don't think you do. So you and me are through. Get ready, because you about to be an ATLE. -E. -E. Get ready, get ready. I'm ready. You ready? Shout out to my squad. Hey, y'all already blessing me with the super sticker. Thank you, Nina DuBose. Thank you. Uh, who was it? It's Quasia. Uh, bless me before I even got in here. Shout out to Quasia. Blessing me before the live even started. Hey, y'all. What's up, CB? Hey, y'all. Y'all see these green people in here? with the little aliens next to their name shout out to princess ag she's a mod for all those other people they go nosy rosy grand and charlie and john thomas all these other people are actually uh channel sponsors so you can become a channel sponsor too only thing i do is click the little uh channel sponsor thingamajigger on my channel uh page and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Like the video, all that jazz. And shout out to my Patreons, my Patreon members. You know, they get first alerts and everything. And then I'm going to go over there. And we're going to have a whole after party and, and talk about some real shit over there on Patreon. Now, I can't tell y'all what we be talking about. We be talking about a whole bunch of stuff. And, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention my uh, Facebookers, okay? Facebook, you in the building. Where the Facebook's at? The Facebook be quiet sometimes. Oh, they go Tina. Okay, they go Tina. They go, okay, Coral in here. Hey, y'all. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Come on. Yes, honey. I was two minutes early. Y'all better give me my props because I'm going to be two minutes late tomorrow. <laughs> you got to put that in a bank. You know how you be early for work a couple of days and then the days you late, you be like, I was early on Tuesday. <laughs> Deduct that from me being late on Friday. Okay. Anywho, um, y'all see these people behind me. Y'all see these people, Marlo and Portia and Simon and Sheree. It's the whole bunch of Real Housewives of Atlanta news dropped tonight. And everybody is in their feelings because, you know, the official cast has been announced. Portia's trailer has been announced. It's all kind of stuff just been announced. Bravo waited and just put it in a whole little package and dropped it on everybody today on Monday, October 25th. You know why they did that? Because uh, Portia's show is going to be airing uh, pretty soon at the end of November. They had to get the trailer out at least a month ahead of time because that's what, you know, uh, people do when they got to promote, honey. They got to promote things 30 minutes ahead of time. Like I always, you know, schedule my lives at least an hour ahead of time to get y'all in here. That's what Bravo trying to do. Get y'all some heads up so y'all can get in there. 
So uh, we're going to review the teaser that Bravo released today. Um, the gag is, the gag is, and I kind of told y'all this, my little theory. I don't know if I told y'all, I told Patreon. I said it somewhat out loud. But my theory was that they was going to air a Porsche show and candy show and then dive into the housewives. Well, it looks like they're doing, they're doing just that. Porsche's show is a part of the Real Housewives brand. So, you know, she put out there that she quit, but she didn't quit. She's still a housewife. Because it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Portia's show, okay? Portia's Family Matters, okay? Family Matters. They just stole the Family Matters name, child. They just stole it. They just stole it. I thought it was the pursuit of Portia and all that jazz. But uh, we're going to look at it. Hold on. Let me change my background real quick. Y'all know. Y'all know it takes me a minute. I have to, you know, him and haul and sit here and shoot the shit and kind of stall until y'all make y'all ass up in because then y'all gonna come in the middle and be like what y'all talk about what did y'all talk about so i try to give people a little time just a little bit just a little bit so uh as y'all are walking in or strolling in or whatever you're doing running in strolling in go ahead and hit that like button please and thank you it pushes up up the us up in the algorithm because you know sometimes they behind me you said family affairs sound better but i bet portia didn't like it <laughs> well family they already had a family affair didn't they bravo just can't give black women a spinoff okay that's what i said what if they give uh lisa vanderpump her own show outside of the housewives brand they gave kkk kim her own show outside of the housewives brand they gave all these people shows outside of the housewives brand but then when it comes to candy when it comes to portia when it comes to Nene, when it comes to all these people who have had shows outside of Real Housewives of Atlanta, it seems like they want to make all the money for the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. They won't let them go. They won't let them spin off. What is up with that? I don't understand. But, you know, yes, Portia got a special. We said Portia got a special. Bravo, slip is showing. Okay, LRG. <sighs> we going to get there. We going to talk about the Housewives uh the new housewives after we talk about this because this is season 14 t2 actually when you think about it the real housewives of atlanta is scheduling a portion show to start when the real housewives typically starts okay and then you know they're gonna continue with the real housewives of atlanta that portia technically quit but basically portia is holding the center peach like i told you she would portia is holding the center peach because she is holding down the the franchise right now they bringing her first before they bring all these new and random ass people behind her but i digress let's go ahead let's go ahead and watch this let's go ahead and watch this and bravo don't be um don't be uh taking my thing down because this is a this is a reaction video this is commentary and i am doing commentary on the first look of the real housewives of atlanta hold on let me do this hold on let me do this hold on i want to be big can i make myself big okay <sighs> here we go let me go this way let me do this let me start at the beginning all right okay oh and i gotta put my disclaimer up for all the people who don't know honey for all the people who do not know this is for commentary this is fair use under uh section 107 of the copyright act of 1976 allowances made for fair use purposes such as criticism coming news reporting teaching scholarship and research read it twice okay read it twice okay we about to listen hold on Visualize someone that has triggered you. I say you still love them. And become aware of how your body feels when they come into your mind. Time to meditate and do it. Being quiet ain't gonna change this shit. It is. Not, not. And breathe out the toxicity that is flowing through our family right now. I'm down with them. Sick of this shit, yo. Ooh. This season on Portia's Family Matters. Okay, did y'all catch that first thing? Hold on, did y'all catch that? Portia's family matters. We got to stop right there and look at it. We got to look at it real close. Like, uh, this is not a, a, a standalone show. This is under the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Okay, I just want to show y'all so y'all can just... Uh, <laughs> 
He said, that ain't fair use. Why it ain't fair use? I'm fair, listen, I'm fairly talking about it. Okay, I digress, I digress. He said, R-H-O-A graphic all over it. Okay, there's that. I'm just showing y'all. I'm just showing y'all. Uh, she tried it. It is what it is. Y'all remember when Portia first landed this show, uh, she allegedly wasn't with uh, Simon yet. But then we saw Portia and Dennis and Simon toasting it up. Then all of a sudden she had a whole story, honey. She had a whole story. Okay, digression. Let's finish. Okay, let's finish looking at this. It matters. So ready to start this family retreat. Go <laughs> okay. ready. Congratulations, Portia. Oh, they go find me. What this dress do? That's all I want to see. see a lot of PDA. I single-handedly pulled my family and friends into my personal. Sh okay, I'm his fourth wife. Oh my lord! I want to know why it's time to. Three previous marriages did not work. I had to find out about Simon on TV. How are you engaged to a married man? This girl got engaged in two weeks. The optics don't look great because people don't have all the facts. Okay, did y'all catch that part? The optics don't look great, but the people don't have all the facts. This was filmed this summer. This was, uh, you know, when I told you that uh, Fallon was pregnant when Fallon was denying it. So perhaps, you know, while this was filmed, Portia already knew what was about to happen. Simon tried to tell y'all that Fallon was with, you know, his assistant and yada, yada, yada. It don't make it right. It don't make it right that he decided to jump into one relationship as soon as he ended another one. But at least, you know, for some people, they can understand. I can't, though, but there's that. He said the ratings are going to go down. Right. How you engage to a married man. Oh, child. Okay. But anyway, let me continue. This trip can be the best thing for our entire family. Yeah, that Mama Diane. Complete. Yeah. I would have broken that bitch in half. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're not in my family. I don't even know you. Is Dennis and Portia really done? Things are never over with the baby mother. I'm always gonna stand my ground. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Dennis said things are never over with the baby mama. So is uh Dennis and Portia still smashing? Was Dennis still in there? Like, listen, Dennis was toasting up uh Simon. I think they all in on together. I think they all in on together. I don't know. I think Portia is playing a, a, a dangerous game, but uh let's continue, honey. He said Dennis and Portia is not done yet. They all in it for the money. Okay. Remember, remember back when Nene Leaks and Greg was getting a divorce. And I said, Greg, they, they, they are not breaking up. Greg just moved to the basement. Uh, rest his soul. We love us uh, some Greg. We knew Greg was not going nowhere. Greg was a good man. Greg was not leaving Lanithia. And vice versa. And that's what this looks like. Portia didn't learn from the school of uh, Nene Leaks. Hold on. Now, here, here goes Simon, honey. Simon putting that foot down. Let me rewind a little bit. Over with the baby mother. I'm always going to stand my ground. There's no other man that's going to speak over me. Now, all of a sudden, he's at the table and he's Mr. Tough Guy. He ain't just take the of our business. <laughs> I'll take mentally stable for 200, Alex. Thank you. So who is mentally unstable? Is it Portia? Is it Simon? Is it Dennis? Uh, it's just all a threesome. That's all we're going to be looking at is the threesome. It's a whole business arrangement. Okay, let's let's find that picture where they was toasting up. Let's see. Where is that Portia for real? Portia for real. Where is the picture where y'all was toasting? We knew the contract had been signed then because we was like Portia and Dennis and Simon in the same place. And um, yeah, it's a lot. Hold on, y'all know I'm looking for it. We searched Portia post a lot of pictures, child. Where is all these pictures coming from, girl? <sighs> do, 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 do. Let's scroll. Y'all can scroll with me. Let's see. We're gonna scroll. We're gonna find the toast up picture. Hi, Binge Worthy. Somebody said Binge Worthy was in there. What's up, friend? I see you. I see you. Shout out to Binge Worthy in the building. Child, all these pictures. All these pictures. We ain't gonna never find it. We ain't gonna never find it. It's too far gone. Is it too far? That's when Portia and Simon, that's the first pit, one of the first pictures they did. That was her with her little Teletubby outfit. Okay, there it is right here. Here it is right here. 
We was looking at this. We was looking at this. We was watching them toast it up. Y'all remember this? Y'all remember this picture? Hold on. We can make that big. Y'all remember that picture? It looked like they had sealed the deal, honey. They had sealed the deal. Um, but again, uh, it's not a spinoff. It's a uh, special. <laughs> it's a special. Uh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate you. You said tell the tubby outfit. Y'all know she had to, I, I Listen, Portia's cur per Portia is curvaceous, but that red outfit made her look like a little red Teletubby. I thought it was cute, though. I thought it was cute. Don't make me pull it up, the red Teletubby outfit. Hold on. Y'all know Teletubbies. Teletubbies. She had on red suit, red shoes. It was Teletubby outfit. So I'm not throwing shade at her body or anything like that. I just said it's a cute little te Teletubby outfit. Anywho, but it's a special. You said it's an eight, eight season special you mean an eight episode special it could be an eight episode special because they didn't have nothing to bring to the table with the real housewives of atlanta that is why andy was up under portia's uh long letter when she said she was leaving the show she decided to embark on greener pastures uh he was under that said we gonna consider this a break we just gonna consider this a break because Portia is holding the centerpiece. She didn't pull everybody together. She is opening up season 14. So there's that. There's that. What y'all think? Y'all gonna watch it? Press one if y'all gonna tune in. I think a lot of stuff is going to be on the show. Make believe and set up. It's not real. Just set up. Michelle, did you peep? She said this season of Portia Family Matters. Yes, we talked about that. Bravo is real grimy for not giving Portia her own standalone show. She did not. She uh, eight episode commercial. <laughs> Y'all going to watch it too for Portia. Yes, one, one, three. Okay, y'all going to watch it. That's good. Y'all going to watch it. At least, get, you know, y'all still um putting that money in Andy's pocket. Like y'all putting that money in Andy's pocket for that book. Y'all think they spilling tea on Andy, but Andy published the book. Y'all need to think. Y'all need to think, but I digress. I'm digressing on that one because I'm just leaving that one alone, honey. Tammy says she ain't going to watch it. Carol and Tammy said they didn't watch it. Aliska says she's not going to watch it. Okay, some people going to watch it. Donna not going to watch it. She ain't going to watch it. You're going to watch it on YouTube. <laughs> okay. All right. Kanisha going to watch it. Chocolate Capricorn, go watch it. You say, is this Bravo on Peacock? This is Bravo. Um, the only thing that's on Peacock is uh, Kenya and Cynthia and the rest of the ladies going on their little girls trip. They were there for like a week. Hey, Danbrielle, what's up, Facebook people? You said, I will not buy Andy's book. He's becoming more and more of an unbearable figure. I hope he gets exposed. Now, just a little bit on Andy's book. Y'all notice that everything in Andy's book is it's a lot. Well, I haven't read the book, but all the clips I see, they talking about Nene. They talking about what had happened. Like they gave the okay for these ladies to talk about all these things because of course they signed non non disclosures, you know, for being on the show. Now all of a sudden they could talk about it to someone writing a book, and it's Andy who's publishing it. Come on, y'all. Anywho, I digress. It's 1,300 of y'all in here. Go ahead and like this video, please. Thank you. Thank you. You said you're watching on Straight from the H. I, if, I, if I get out of retirement, I'm going to post it back on Straight from the H. Um, you said you heard Andy was stepping down. I guess stepping back into the background where he was at first. Uh, no longer have Bravo after Nene left. Well, there's that. They made that book to try to increase the ratings. It seems like it. It seems like it. The ghost writer was Andy Cohen. You know it. You know it. Uh, did you hear that Bravo put out a statement about Nene saying she's not coming back for season 14? I wonder why they are talking about Nene. Because I guess, you know, people were reporting that she was coming back. Remember, B. Snot was reporting that Nene was coming back and was going to film with Marlo. Y'all remember that? And I debunked that. But um, there's that. He got some things right, though. I give it to B. Snot. He got some things right. Uh, Bravo is not letting Portia go. She's holding it down. You know what, Sean? Portia ain't going no well, Portia put out that long note for what? To tell us that she was going to open um, season 14? Is that why she put it out? Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, Portia is the centerpiece holders as far as I'm concerned. And, and she going to be on the show with all her family and nobody else for eight whole episodes. And she's getting paid for all eight episodes. And that would be normally her whole salary for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But there's that. Now, um, another interesting thing, you know, yeah, I had told y'all Marlo didn't get a peach. And, you know, as far as I know, she had not gotten a peach. That when I told you she had not gotten a peach. But apparently, 
you know, Bravo is pulling their straws and they don't know what to do. They have tested all these people. Didn't a lot of people, uh, they were testing workout. And so, you know, Marlo, the peach was up for grabs. Marlo and Sheree. Think about this. Sheree had been invited back as a friend. And she said, no, I will only come back if I get a peach. And so Bravo was like, well, I think about it. I think about it. And apparently, you know, after they kicked all the friends to the curb, they kept kicked uh what's the name uh the youtube girl uh damn i can't think of her name oh latoya they kicked latoya to the curb uh they kicked uh fallon to the curb so uh you know they marlo's already making housewife salary they might as well give her a peach so she got a peach you said marlo do got a peach okay marlo do got a peach she do she do what would happen to candy's family special i think candy's family special would probably come on the heels of uh the real housewives of atlanta look they started out this is just a theory now nah, don't be like writing this down saying michelle has said y'all know all my theories usually be true though but uh you know i said that portia would start out the season then there'll be you know their little episodes with you know the new housewives and well the current season of the housewives and then candies will probably end the season because she's probably having all these different uh issues with uh her restaurant throughout the season of the show now variety was who bravo leaked the information to uh earlier today and here is what they say it okay as of monday morning all the deals have closed which means all the contracts were signed season 13 candy burbis kenya moore and drew sedora are returning uh once and future real housewife of atlanta cast member sheree whitfield uh will also oops that was the wrong picture will also uh be back on the show um and additionally track star sonia richards ross a four-time olympic gold medalist has joined the group full-time richards ross may be new to rhoa but she isn't a stranger to reality tv she used to be on we tv on sanya's glam and gold about her family and marriage to in former nfl quarterback aaron ross it ran for one season we already knew who was leaving since both Portia Williams and Cynthia Bailey announced their departure. Now, I told y'all Portia didn't announce their departure, but there's that. They say she did, she did. Um, and Cynthia is still running around trying to save face, talk about she left to save her marriage, and I'm, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. But anywho, uh, they announced their uh, departures last month. Bailey said later which I had already told y'all that she was offered a friend role rather than being a peach holder. And uh, she wasn't going to take it. I said either, she, you know, her ego would allow it or it would not. Apparently it did not allow it. However, she claims that, you know, it was just her time to go. Uh, Williams, they say in this Variety article, her departure was rare, was a rare Real Housewife instance where uh, a cast member voluntarily quits though she won't be leaving Bravo behind. So basically, how is the cast member quitting? Can y'all explain that? How is the cast member quitting when her whole show is uh, is under the Real Housewives of Atlanta umbrella? So this she quit the ensemble. And I just, anyway, um, there's that. He said, Portia is the queen of Bar Bravo. Okay, Portia is the center peach holder. Like I said, y'all can give me that one. Y'all can give me that one. Um, I told y'all Portia ain't going nowhere. Uh, they said uh, Variety has also learned that none of the friends from last season will return for the show's 14th season. So we won't see Tanya Sam, who disappeared from filming uh, in season 13 after she was accused of having a threesome with Williams and Bolo the stripper. Nor will we see Latoya Ali, who was friends with Kenya Moore uh, until she wasn't, <laughs> and clashed with Drew Sedora, Fallon Guabadia, Tina, uh also won't be back this season, which will be a disappointment to those of you who wanted to hear about her uh, messiness with Williams, who is now engaged to Wabadia's ex-husband, Simon. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Oh, and then uh, they also say, and despite what the blogs say, <laughs> the used to be preferred RHOA term 
uh, for how information spreads. Nene Leaks won't appear on the show this season. I think I told y'all that. I did. I did. So uh, I think that was something that Beast Knight had said, but there's that. Um, Whitfield's return promises to be a homecoming for her. Blah, 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 blah. Do we care? What is going on with um, Sheree Whitfield that we even care to see? Can y'all explain to me why y'all want to see... Um, Sheree, I do y'all want to see Sheree? Because uh, Sheree, I don't even think she went Tyrone no more. So, I mean, what are they going to do? Like, she's just going to come in and pretend to be friends with Candy again? What is going on? You said, what about Shamia? I don't know. I don't. They said Shamia wasn't on it. You know, Shamia turned down a peach many seasons ago. And so she might just be a walk on. She might not be an actual friend because she was never an official friend. But she was like, uh, she would come on for like a day rate or just be, you know, be there or whatever. So she may be because she's still, you know, hanging out with Portia and hanging out with uh, Candy. But there's that. You said, why do they always have to bring up Nene? She been gone. Look, without Nene, they get no clicks and views. Without Nene Leak's name, no one cares. You said Sheree is the real bone carrier. I guess bone collector is candy job now. So, okay, who going to check? Peach me, boo. <laughs> okay. I don't want to see or hear her. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know with Drew and Drew Sedora ain't friends with none of them, really. And then you got uh, uh, Sheree coming back. Who she hanging out with? Is she hanging out with Kenya? Is she hanging out with Candy? Like, what's the deal? And then you got Marlo just blowing in the wind. Marlo just anybody friend. I don't know what's going to happen. And then you got this new girl. Who is bringing the new girl on there? I don't know. Then Candy, when she was calling, said that there was going to be a whole bunch of new roaches. Where is the new roaches, Candy? We just got Sonya. We got Sonya, the, the Olympic girl. I mean, I'm trying to figure out where is the person that Candy said we were going to be so shocked and surprised about. Where the lady at, Candy? We, you was lying. You was lying. But anyway, real fake friendship. <sighs> I don't know, child. I don't know. It's it's just, is Sheree still struggling with that? How I don't know. I don't know. It's just a mess. It's a big old mess. Now, uh, we got Kenya. We got Kenya still talking about her divorce. We got Kenya on Dancing with the Stars. Uh, listen, I, what is going to happen? So let's talk about, let's, she said, where's your school to candy? Candy going to bring up the rear with the OLG project. Listen to me now, write it down in a book, tell it to me six months from now. Candy is going to bring up the rear of season 14 with the Real Housewives of Atlanta presents the OLG project. Okay. Anywho. And then we're going to get to see her uh, dirty inspections and her selling ice and all those things that's been going on all summer long. Okay. Now, uh, Kenya, on the other hand, Kenya is still like, I don't understand what Kenya, Kenya, Kenya is such a beautiful woman. Why is she always talking about Mark? Mark, 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 Mark don't want to leave. Mark this, Mark that. Let's listen to what he, Kenya has said. We got a little bit of time, don't we? We got a little bit of time. Kenya um, went on her Instagram for a rare instance, and uh, she decided to spill some tea. It's about uh, 10 minutes long. We ain't got nothing but time. We're going to watch Kenya laying in bed talking. Let's see what she Don't fall asleep now. Don't fall asleep. I try to talk to y'all while she's talking. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hey, hi, Team hey, Twirl. Girl. Hey, girl. I just wanted to tell you guys hi. Just wanted to jump online quickly just to check in with you all. If you have any questions for me, just to tell me how you're feeling. I'm actually, for the first time in a long time, I'm actually at home in my bed, which is why, why I'm laying down. I'm oh. in Atlanta and uh, oh. we flew in. Um, I don't even remember. I don't even know what day this is. Honestly, it's been like crazy for me. Um, I think we flew in two days ago. It's just been a lot of dancing, rehearsing. Um, you guys know I'm back on Real Housewives, so I had to come and film. So now I'm filming two shows at once. And, um, and a lot of other things that I have going on and running my Kenya Moore hair care and expanding into other stores um it's just it's a lot um but i'm not complaining it's just like one of the happiest 
um, you know, one of the happiest times of my life. So it looks like I have a a wig on, but I don't. This is my hair. It's so funny. It's, that's important to know. She wants y'all to know she does not have a wig on, child. But I anyway, you was in the bed, um, girl. Someone said I was dancing amazing. Thank you. Booked and busy. Uh, thank you. Stay close to Jehovah, Kenya. Yes, of course. Um, thank you for being proud of me. Watching my grandmother. Um, someone said made made me cry. Yeah, I couldn't watch the. Um, I couldn't watch it. You know, Brandon took me off the stage when um, when they were playing the um, playing my package and you know basically playing the um, thing with my grandma. I couldn't watch it because if I had watched it, I knew I would tear up and I wouldn't be able to dance. So he, um, you know, he took me off stage so that I wouldn't have to uh, to watch it. So I really appreciate him for that. Um, uh, so listen, someone said we're going to get those votes, Queen. Yes. So the key is, everyone, you can get good scores or you can get the lowest scores. And if you get the votes, you will stay on Dancing with the Stars. Um, we've seen this happen week after week. I was not in the bottom of scoring. And I was in the bottom two that week. So that means that I wasn't getting the votes. Um, at least that's what I think it means. And there are other people that were in the bottom that were safe. So in my mind, that calculation means that I wasn't getting the votes. But you guys showed up for me. You guys... You have to continue to vote to keep me on so I can continue to tell my stories through dance and um, and just make you guys proud of me. This is like some of the happiest times in my life right now. And I'm just so appreciative of everyone who um, who voted for me, who believed in me, you know, who keep me on the show. Um, I'm so happy you guys are going so hard for me. And we just need to get to the finals. You know what I mean? Let us just, let me keep dancing because now I feel, I feel my um, confidence back. You know, I had lost it for a second because I was so overwhelmed with being in the bottom. And, uh, and now someone just said I'm there because I belong there. Oh, thank you. Someone just said the most beautiful thing. Thank you, Team Twirl. Uh, someone said, can't wait to see me at the finale. Ah! This is so scary, but so much, so much fun. Like, I just can't believe it, guys. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to take some questions. If you guys want to ask me some questions, I'm going to sit up so I can take some, some questions from you guys. Uh, see, someone said nice eyebrows. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hi from London, D D Theo 5 Um Someone said truly an inspiration. I appreciate that. Someone, oh, beautiful to watch on the dance floor. Oh, oh. I have to talk about thank Mark. you. <laughs> thank you too. so much. Um, how long I have to leave Atlanta tomorrow. So I have to go back and do some more dancing stuff. And then, you know, we have camera blocking and rehearsals and stuff. We've been rehearsing while, while we've been here, though. So we, we can't miss a day. I need the rehearsal time. Um, would I ever write a memoir? I have written a, a memoir. I've not published it. I wrote it years ago. Um, it's called um, Invisible uh, because of you know my 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 um, situation with my mom. But yeah, I, I wrote it. So maybe I'll revisit that one day. And um, if I think it could help people now, I probably would look at it again. Uh, someone said Aquarius gang, love you millions. Uh, hi from LA. Hi from the UK. Uh, that body yaddy yaddy dancing got you snatched. <laughs> um, I got on the scale today. I haven't really lost any weight. I lost two pounds. Um, I probably would have lost a lot more. I'm dancing like five, six hours a day and it's very strenuous. I probably would have lost more weight, but I mean a lot. Like I'm eating more um, than I eat if I'm not dancing. So if I was not eating as much, I would have lost more weight. <laughs> but honey, I need the carbs. I need the the sugar. I just get emotional. I'm an emotional eater. So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't good for me. Uh where's little Brookie? Brookie is visiting um Eva Eva um Sterling, formerly Eva Marcel. 
um, she's over over to her little friend's house visiting. She was asking me about uh, where her friends are. And that made me feel sad because I don't want her to think she doesn't have any friends. Um, so I, I, I let her go over there to play. So she's over there right now. Um, someone said gained muscle. Yeah, I probably did gain some muscle. Um, uh, someone just said love, love seeing me in a different light on dancing. Um, I just think, you know, the last couple of projects that I've done, even um, the ultimate girls trip on Bravo with the housewives, it's me not being around the housewives. Um, I think you get to see me for who I really am instead of me constantly being defensive or me, you know, doing crazy stuff or whatever. Um, some uh, basically provoked, unprovoked. But I just think that um, for me, it's just, I think maybe just also turning 50 and um, just owning who I am and just being proud of the woman that, that I am and making better decisions in terms of, um, you know, how I, how I respond and behave and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I love doing these new projects because I do think that people can really see me in a, in a different light and really who I am, what my heart is, um, you know, so it, it feels better to be on a show like that. Uh, uh, it's going by a little fast. The way you slayed the All Stars cast photo. <laughs> well, thank you to my glam. I want to say thank you to my glam. You know, George. Um, who did my hair for that? Uh, oh, Derek Monroe. Yeah, Derek Monroe on my hair, who's always amazing. Uh, so yeah, that's who did the All Stars photo. So that's great. Uh, who is your favorite housewife from that group aside from Cynthia? Um, Candy. Yeah, Candy's just um, an amazing person. She's an inspiration. You know, she's a great businesswoman. She's a great friend. She's a beautiful person inside and out. She's talented. I mean, it's just not anything negative that I can really say about Candy. And she's always been very fair with me, um, even when uh, her best friend at the time was not friends with me, she was still cool. You know what I mean? So I, I just appreciate Candy and our, our talks and her positivity and everything that she's uh, helped me with and just for being her. So I, I think Candy. Uh, let's see, Chocolate Gang. Yes. Uh, are you Nini make, I don't know, make friends? Um, I wouldn't say that we're friends. I, I would just say we're not in a bad place. Um, she appreciated me supporting uh, Greg and being in his repast and um, acknowledge that she didn't um, have time to really speak. But, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just over beefing with people, you know. Um, I just think that you have to, in your life, just be able to move on and, um, and wish people well if they're not really for you. Um, or sometimes you just don't know what other people are going through, but you have to have a forgiving heart. And I think that I have a forgiving heart. At least I know, I know, and I think I know I do. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, you know, I, I hope in the future that we can, we can get to a point of being friends, but, but right now, you know, she's going through something and I'm going to respect her space and where she is and all that. So that's, that's where Ooh. we are. Uh, am I still on RHOA? Yeah, I'm filming now. That's why I'm in um, Atlanta. I told you guys I was coming back. I told you not to listen to those people who talk. Um, if you don't hear from me, don't believe it. So yes, I am on the new season. I am a housewife. Uh, someone said, I love the video of your grandmother's uh, message to you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, she was, she was a great lady. She was a great lady. Did you like your short hair wig? You looked gorgeous. You know what? I liked my short hair wig. I didn't love it at first. It. Um, I've worn short wigs before, like at the reunion, I remember wearing, but it wasn't that short. It was probably to my shoulder. So I don't know if people might consider that as being like um, medium length, but it was short and, and I, everyone loved it on me. So, you know, at some point I might have to just cut my hair. You know what I mean? I might just have to cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> or just keep that little wiggy, you know, when I want to, you know, be sassy. And I want to give you a little sass. <laughs> um, someone said you should go bald. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, no, that's, 
I can pretty much say that's never going to happen. <laughs> um, someone says, so I'm going to see some people want to get into this video. I'm going to do it for like, um, uh, I'm going to do it for like five minutes. So let me just find, find the request and, and get some people on. Um, so let's see, are you still able to communicate with Brooklyn's dad? Yeah, we, we communicate. I mean, you know, we're going through a divorce, so there isn't a whole lot of communication. I just wanted to settle. I don't want to go through a divorce. I just want to be able to, to say, okay, this is what it is. Let's sign off and um, do the paperwork ourselves, come to an agreement, and then submit it to court. I don't know why we have to go to court when the main issue that I went to court for has been settled, and that's the um, custody of Brooklyn. That's all settled. So now that we're going through a divorce, and that's one piece of a divorce when you have kids, why are we not just communicating what we want? I don't want anything from you. I don't want anything from Mark. Um, I wish him well. Um, he will always be in my life because he is my family. He's Brooklyn's dad. He's my ex-husband. He will be. And um, so I just wish we would get to a place where I I can just even understand. Like why I don't even understand why he's not signing off on the divorce. Uh, so yeah, just keep praying for me to and really pray for Mark. Um, for his peace and his, you know, if he has issues with me, if he can um, let those go because I was a good wife to him. And I think I'll be a great wife to someone else one day too. Um, so that's where I am with that. Okay, let's see. I'm going to see. All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. I'm not going to torture y'all and make y'all watch the whole thing. I just knew that um, it was about 10 minutes. So, um, yeah. So, Kenya has also, um, listen, I don't know. They said they was that she was on Ellen today talking about uh, Portia was her uh, friend. Hold on. What part was that? What part was that? Hold on. Oh, I don't want to watch that. Do y'all want to see that? We don't have to see that. Anyway, she um was on uh Ellen today and she gave Portia a few compliments and she said that Portia will always be like a sister to her. Even though, you know, they had their disagreements, she's like any sister. They worked together for 10 years, you know, sometimes they have good times and sometimes they have bad times, but you know, she admitted that, you know, she has love for her. That's what uh that's what Kenya said, honey, on uh the Ellen show with um Tiffany Haddish as the host. But we're not going to watch it. You said Mark wants her to pay her. Listen, this whole divorce thing. The big, how long they been getting divorced? They was, only, they was married for, what, two seconds? And it's taking them five years to get divorced? I don't understand. I don't understand. What is the problem? Are they really married in the first place? Or did they have to renegotiate this contract so that Brooklyn can't appear on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Mark wants some more money because Mark, last year, Mark said, I am not signing nothing because you did not pay me enough money. Listen, I done gave you my sperm. You done had your baby. You know, had everything, but clearly I didn't get what I was supposed to get out the deal. So, you know, there's that. I'm not gonna drag Kenya too much longer, but you know, she seems to be pretty happy in the space that she's in. I have called her a single mother since she had gave birth to Brooklyn. Mark has never been around. Have y'all ever seen Mark around? He come visit on the weekends. That's it. I mean, I don't understand why y'all was so mad at me calling her that. But now team twirl sees that I was telling the truth. But anywho, Kenya got what she wanted, which was a beautiful daughter. She has a beautiful daughter, but she don't have no husband. She don't have no husband. And there's nothing wrong with that. Hell, I don't have no husband either. Uh, he said, they seriously have been getting divorced twice as long as the marriage. <laughs> Just get that mess a no since it wasn't real anyway. Okay. He said, no, they never lived together. Okay. She promised Mark money and he wanted. Remember, he tried to get half of um, more manner. He said that he deserved half. So apparently it's about dollars and cents. So they've been negotiating and mediating offline, uh, you know, away from the public. And, you know, she probably cut him a little check here, cut him a little check there. And he shuts up for a minute until he needs some more. <laughs> Allegedly. I don't know. I don't know nothing about it. But anywho. Um, there's that about Kenya. Uh, what do y'all think about, you know, this this new cast of The Real Housewives of Atlanta? We have uh, Kenya Moore. 
We have Candy Burris. We have Drew Sedora. We have who else? Marlo Hampton. We have Sheree Whitfield. And we have uh, Sonya Richardson Ross. <sighs> I don't know much about her. Uh, they said, you know, she's an Olympic gold medalist. Y'all can go over to her Instagram and troll all y'all want to. I don't know nothing about the lady. I don't know whose friend she's going to be. I don't know what her personality is. I don't know. I am not invested whatsoever. But, you know, give people opportunity. You know, it's all black women, at least. You know, maybe she's Jamaican. Okay. Uh, you know, listen. Bravo is still, you know, making bank on the backs of these black women. They're not giving them no more than, uh, you know, what they want them to have. Again, they didn't get Portia no spinoff and she's been breaking her back for them for 10, 12 years. They didn't get Candy no spinoff and she's been breaking her back for them too. All the spinoffs been under the Real Housewives of uh, Atlanta umbrella, which means the Real Housewives benefit more so than anything else. They get the ratings, they get the sponsors, they get the money. And I guess, you know, they get the money to, you know, pay the ladies to do what they do. So there's that. Uh, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. It's 1,946 of y'all in here counting uh, Facebook. I'm going to put the link in here. Y'all can click. Y'all can click or not. Click the link to join. I would love to uh, hear from you. Please be on camera. Click the link to join. Uh, hold on, click the link to join. Put the thing in there. Uh, I'm going to pin the link for you. Please be on camera. Please, please, please. Uh, you said hit that button. Okay. You said uh, many of the same boring people. It's awful. You said the cast is flat line with two heartbeats. <laughs> Amazing, y'all crazy. I am behind, but Kenya is beautiful, but don't act like she doesn't have a filter on. Well, there's that. Where there's is that. Why y'all who y'all vote for on dancing with the stars? You said vote for Iman, Iman Shepard. He's been dancing his ass off. He has. I don't know. I just I don't know. I had such high well, I ain't gonna even lie. I didn't have high hopes for RHOA, but I did hope that they was gonna find some talent that we cared about um maybe some big name people was gonna join and we was gonna like get on the real housewives train and maybe you know peek over there and see but i don't i don't see no names that i really want to see y'all want to see what marlo doing with a peach marlo been on there what's gonna be different with her with a peach that could have at least gave them their own show like kkk kim all that shucking and dancing them girls doing especially candy okay hold on let me pin this where is the link? Michelle, can you remind people to like and subscribe to the channel? Uh, thank you, Cheyenne. Please uh, like and subscribe if you are watching. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free, okay? It is free. Also, it is free to call in. Uh, I'm scrolling, trying to put this link in here. Click the link to join. Okay, thank you, Princess AG. Pin. Okay, I've pinned it for y'all so that when y'all come in, y'all can't say y'all don't see that link. Okay, uh, don't nobody want to be associated with our HOA. Listen, y'all back here without the cameras on, turn your camera on. Why do y'all not have cameras on? I don't understand that. You know, that's a rule for the public. If you want to talk, I got to see who I'm talking to. Okay, uh, Kenya was on Ellen with no Ellen. <laughs> She was on Ellen with Tiffany Haddish. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, they should have bought Fedra back. Y'all knew they were not going to bring Fedra back and still have Candy there because Candy said, she said it before and she said it again. She is not doing Fedra, okay? Uh, hey, LRG with the red glasses. How you turn your camera off? You just had your camera on. Now you're muted. Can't hear you. I'm mute. I'm mute. Sorry. Because hey. it's dark in here. You can't hardly see me. I can see you. Why do y'all do that? Why? Like, I'm like, y'all call everybody's show. Y'all be on camera. Y'all do this. Y'all call my show. Don't want to don't want to be seen. No, I, I, love, I love it. You look beautiful tonight, Michelle. I'm loving that. That freaking neutral is so chic and oh, sexy. It's you. so fall. I love it. I appreciate you. I was thinking about the topics of the evening uh -huh. and 
you know, Portia Williams, I'm looking forward to. Not sure why they want it to be a Family Matters type. Like, wasn't that about, wasn't that Family Matters? Was Urkel on that? Is that because Dennis yes, was like Urkel? Urkel. On that. And Darius McCrary, y'all remember, he just was in this scandal with Sydney Starr, the transgender person. Is that who said that they was in a relationship? Yeah. And I just find it odd. And now all of a sudden this family matters. Like, really? Right. Like, that's weird. And, but as far as like it being, I think Dennis looks a little like uh, Urkel. Dennis does not look like Urkel. Don't do him like that. Yeah, he does. No, I'm just, okay, okay. I won't do him like that. But he does wear like bow ties on top of his first suits. I mean, on, on it, when he wears button down collars, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. And then for the freaking lineup, OMG, I'm not interested in Sheree coming back. They what is storyline? What do we want to hear from Sheree? Nothing. I didn't want to hear about how she was going to get seven figures in a divorce. I didn't want to hear about all the other stuff that she almost, I didn't want to hear about her mansion. I didn't want to hear about her trying to be a momager. I didn't want to hear about, huh? There's not much that I ever wanted to hear about from Sheree and why they keep dragging her from under the stairs. To I mean, how many herself. lives does Sheree have? She's been eliminated three times and now she's back again. The last time she was kissing Kim, but uh, about, you know, being her little do girl and Kim was talking about racism doesn't exist. Now you back. Yeah, exactly. All that. But, you know, she has been hanging out with Akon's wife. She went on that whole trip with them and Akon's wife when they went with me. Look, so did Claudia Jordan. So did Quad Webb. So did a whole bunch of people. Yeah. So and, and Akon's real wife said that's not his wife. So. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah, she came forward and said, that is not me. Uh, -uh. And then TMZ had to delete that post. Remember when TMZ had posted that um, uh, Akon's wife was joining the housewives? Oh no, I did not. Yeah, and the, the real wife said that is not me. And I'm listen, I got my marriage license, whatever. So that might be his girlfriend, but that's not his wife. Mm, well, yeah, I'm not interested in that. But I would I would like to hear what the hell Portia was thinking when she swooped in and snatched up Simon as a you know what I'm saying? I would love to hear what reasoning she could possibly give us in the form of you know, an explanation on a whole almost spinoff. And about the spinoff, I'm so done with freaking Bravo always attaching theirself to like the melanin. You know what I mean? I'm like, you're right. They don't do that on Vanderpump Rules. It doesn't say Beverly Hills housewife Vanderpump Rules. Mm -mm, it doesn't ever. say any of that. It doesn't, and even when Kim had her trailer park um, show, it didn't say Real Housewives, former of Atlanta, them over there you know what i mean party for the party real housewives of atlanta presents party for the party it yeah didn't. and then they always but they also do that when it's going to be short they don't attach it if it's going to be a whole series for years and years but when it's going to be a special they put their self on it and but the specials are also reserved for the melanated i'm like what's good mm -hmm. you know what i mean I, agree. Anyway, I don't know. Not interested in Sheree. I don't know who the other lady is. And I would like to give her a chance because of the an Olympic gold medalist who was married to a former NFL player. Um, they were one, they had a one season of a show on We TV. Maybe, you know, we should watch that show to see what the hell she was doing over there. Uh, she had a show on We TV that was for one season called, what was it called? Um, the Sonya's Glam and Gold. Uh, it was back in 2013. I didn't never hear about it, and I, I don't know. I, I didn't. I, that was have been around the same time as like Tabitha's Takeover type of stuff, maybe or mm -hmm. something like that. I don't really remember that show, but maybe she could be good. But I mean, they're basically trying to revive a dead horse at this point, and you know the CPR isn't working. They pulled out the paddles. They're clear. You know what I'm saying? And it's clear that it's over. And they might want to just, eat, if anything, start from scratch because. The originals that are left 
are what happened to the sound sorry my son was yelling me oh that's okay so the the oh darn my train just left that's okay. You said uh, if anything, they should start over from scratch. Yeah, because the original housewives that they have left. I'm well. Me, I know there's a lot of team twirls, and why not give twirl her own show? Because her trying to exist among the remaining alliance that is clearly deteriorated is going to be so irksome to watch the fakeness. Because you know it's not genuine. Her and Candy don't have nothing to say to each other. They haven't said nothing to each other for all this time. They're not really, I don't really think they're jocking for each other like that anymore. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So, and now that Cynthia's gone and they don't have Portia to torture, if she does come back, if she's really quit and the 40 million is like worth more to her than whatever they were offering her, if she does not come back, then they don't have anything. I don't want to see Drew by herself. I'd like the game to come back so I can see Drew. That's where I would like to see Drew Sedora on like some kind of acting, something like that. I don't want to see her like on the freaking Housewives. <laughs> and then more. I can agree because I don't think Drew fits, but I think at this point they just holding on to her because she's married with kids. I mean, I don't know that they couldn't find anybody else. Well, yeah, but I don't know. Does she, her ankles are going to be hurting. They coming for her. Mm -hmm. They will come for her. Whoever's left, they coming for her. Drew's on the list of, okay. uh, or at least Ken is at least okay. gone on the list, right? But Marlo, okay. that's the last thing, is Marlo, congratulations, finally on a peach. They said you'd never get it. You know, I mean, there's a lot to be said. Well, she said she wasn't going to get it. Trust me, you know I heard her. Right? Well, there's a lot to be said for being the last one in the club and getting asked home. So okay. that's kind of like what happened. She waited like she waited it out and production looked around and they were like, look, she's still here. Give her a peach, you know? Uh -huh. But the lies, I can't wait to see what lies she spins. She finally gonna have to show us what she does. It's kind of like, what was that guy on Marty Marr? Who had a job, but we never knew well, what it was. Remember she claims now she, she's been styling Tammy Roman. And you know she's an influencer on YouTube. Uh, yeah, she styles Tammy Roman now, so you know. Hot on her IG, Tammy's been looking very well together. That's yes, yes. yes. that's something. Well, that at least give her a nice storyline then. A starlet, um, freaking stylist. That'd be cute. Marlo got the peach, like they said she was the last choice. Kind of how Claudia Jordan got a peach, because Claudia Jordan's peach was supposed to be Demetria McKinney's. And uh -huh. Demetria wasn't bringing it. And in the middle of the season, in the middle of filming, Claudia yeah. ended up with a peach. And so, again, she didn't last for one season. But it was, you know, it was just that desperation that Bravo had to, to get all their peach holders. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what happened, child. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm still kind of mad at Bravo. But I'm over what exactly they did to Nene. And I am reading that stupid book, All Not All Diamonds and Rosé. It's kind of salacious and like tabloidy. And um, you're right, Andy's making all the money. They're not let they're not letting no cats out of the bag about Andy's ass. That's for sure. You know what I'm saying? They're they're telling yeah. everyone, everybody but Andy's ass. But <laughs> other I than appreciate that, you, LG, for calling in tonight. I appreciate you too. And I appreciate everybody in the chat and pff, the blogger. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> Have See a good you next night. time. Peace. All right. Bye. Yeah, I had froze for a minute. Am I back? I had froze. I think I'm back slowly. It's coming back slowly. Okay. Somebody said she looked big headed. I'm sorry. I just be clicking on stuff. Thank you, LRG, for calling in. Uh, tattoo later book. Hey there, Michelle and everybody. Hey, how, how are you doing? You? I'm wonderful. Thank you for allowing me to come in. Listen, I had said from the very beginning when they first started toasting one another in the episode over the summer, right before the summer and the breakthrough with the engagement and everything, that it's all was a setup. And mm -hmm. it's just so clear and obvious. And the part that makes me angry with Bava is because they really don't even think enough of their viewers to say that we ain't going to be stupid enough to fall for the game. 
Mm-hmm. And what makes me angry is that, yeah, you're sitting up here using our African-American queens in a very negative tone. Even though this is an adult show, you got these young girls out here watching this thinking that this is how life really is. And it's not. We do not walk around with our boobs hanging out. We don't walk around with big booty butts. That's not reality. We don't walk around. And they don't do the Beverly Hills Housewives like that. They don't have them twerking and doing all the things that they have. And you guys are not understanding that our young ladies are influenced by the TV that they see. And so when you wonder why the young girls is out here and don't know how to survive in the real world, meaning can they get in the kitchen and cook and say that, okay, if I got some leftover turkey bones, I'm going to take that and stew it and be able to make another meal with it. Half of these young girls don't even know how to do these things to survive that our ancestors and grandmothers and and mothers and things of that nature taught us how to do it and to have some respect, Mm. okay? The nudity that they started giving up on Bravo was an instant turn off for me. I don't Mm -hmm. need to see everybody else's chest. Mm -hmm. I don't need to see all of this And who's sleeping with who and who's having threesomes. What are we telling our children, our girls, when they watching this stuff? Is this how you're supposed to gain a relationship? I'm kind of old school. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm making sense or not. But it's just to me, I just think that Bravo has just taken it to an all too all low. And I just can't see me allowing myself to watch it. I don't give a cahoots about Andy's book. And to be honest with you, Portia's doing what she's doing because, hey, it's all about the Benjamins and we get it. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. don't play my intelligence for your shenanigans. Right. At all. You know, and I keep looking at that picture and thinking about it like they had just signed that deal, honey, and they was already ready. And we was trying and to figure out what was going yes. on, honey. They and, toasted and it up. Is right there. I mean, Mm -hmm. come on now, for real people, you could have read right through that. You knew it was going to be some shenanigans somewhere just by the way that that was presented. Mm -hmm. They presented that just the way that they needed to. And so what they're saying is y'all ain't smart enough to see through the game. Right. I mean, come on now. I'm not, I'm not a fisher woman. Okay. I would enjoy the sport. However, you're not going to hook, line and sink me into this foolishness. Well, there's that. So yeah, that's just how I felt. Where you coming from, a tattoo lady? Um, Virginia. I'm okay. Born and raised from the DMV, but down here in Virginia now, chilling, doing me. Well, I appreciate <laughs> you calling in. All righty then, y'all have a good one. Take care. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, y'all. Y'all follow directions. Hansy, are you gonna be on camera? M- Mickey, are you gonna be on camera? Then y'all gonna be okay. Hansi, you got the camera on. I don't see your face. I am. Um... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm following the rules. I'm following the rules. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. How you doing tonight? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. Um, I hope I just wanted to ask you, like, how was? Did you have a good time at the event? Um, I did. Did you... Okay. Let's talk about it on Patreon. Okay, 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 cool. I'll get that there. Um, so I just wanted to um, basically just say that I think that Porsche's show is really uh, produced really low budget. You know what I'm saying? And just the quality and the money that they put into the show alone is disrespectful. I tell. It just, we just got the thing. I could tell just by the way, the, I could just tell. It's just like the way that the drama's unfolding. Uh-huh. And... Is almost like the camera quality as well, I want to say. You know what I'm saying? But okay. it definitely feels, it's given a low budget vibe to me. You know what I'm saying? And okay. I've seen some other people say it too, so. <laughs> and, um, but um, also, I feel like Sheree is just like, there's really no point to bring Sheree back right now. But I guess we'll see what happens with that, right? <laughs> Yeah, I I don't I I just don't understand. Like, what's your name? Are we gonna find out what happened to her mama? What her mama was when she was missing? Well, I mean, what are we gonna find out from Sheree? And who is gonna be Sheree's friend? Who does she hang out with? Is she gonna be like hanging out with Candy? Is it right. Kenya? Like, I don't I don't know. That does make a lot of sense, you know, because that was the same reason why 
you know, you had told me Shamari wasn't a good fit because it's like she don't have the friendship. So it's mm -hmm. kind of the same thing for Sheree as well. Like she's going to be trying to befriend somebody and it's going to be kind of not genuine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I'm not interested in seeing her, just period. I mean, no, nothing personal to her. It's just like, that's it. Because like, <laughs> I mean, we've already seen Sheree do everything. Why well, we got to see her again? Like they couldn't find nobody else. <laughs> Why can't they give another person an opportunity? Like she'd already had like three opportunities. They could have found another up and coming young lady who, you know, had class, style, grace. You know, they don't want that though. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they want Sheree's crazy ass. I don't know. And I also feel like they kind of mess it up for themselves because of how they portraying people on TV with all like the previous caller said. Like, I was like, should I even call in? Because she said everything I wanted to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, the way they portray somebody on TV, I, who's going to want to sign up for that? So anybody with some dignity is not going to sign up. It's not going to be interested. When this used to be the show, that would have respect you. You know what I'm saying? But now it's not no longer like that. It's, it's like... Yeah, Shere, you know, Sheree Shere would have came back for anything. She just wanted to make a, you know, to prove that she could get her peach back. Because, you know, all the time that she kept talking about she quit, she quit, she quit. Why you keep coming back four, five times? Clearly you didn't quit. Clearly right. they didn't give you the boot. And as soon as they find the opening, they say, oh, Sheree, and this Ray, I'm on the way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Put my shoes on. Like, yes. on, you can't be so available. You gotta. Sheree, we got this gift card, this Target gift card for you. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> like, and you I'm know she, way. you know she mad happy. You know she's probably front and like trying to keep her composure. But we both know she's extremely happy to have gotten that offer. You know. You know it. And Sheree, one. Let me see what her Instagram looking like. Cause she posted a little Instagram today, and uh, basically uh, after the announcements were made. And she had to tell people, you know, to me, it was, this was like, she was saving this picture in her phone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> With a Marilyn Monroe quote, I'm selfish, <laughs> impatient, and a little insecure. I make mistakes. I am out of control and at times hard to handle. But if you can't handle me at my worst, then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best. Right. Girl. Yeah. Okay. okay. Exactly. What, what you got? How many likes is there? Like 301? I can't even see it. Uh, oh, does it like show? It? it doesn't show. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, it didn't like, show. nobody's even paying attention to her. I scrolled by her Instagram the other day, and I was just looking at her likes and stuff, and they're pretty low. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, I don't even know who she's posting this out to at this point. But um, I mean, somebody who's been on Instagram forever, you know, she only had, well, she got, she just hit a million. She, I mean. Oh, she, I probably looked at it early. You know, when somebody just posted, you know what I'm saying? Before, uh -huh. they, uh, before they rack up all their likes and shit, I probably looked at it at that point. Oh, okay. Somebody said 4,300. Okay. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. All right. My bad. Kenya was eliminated from the <laughs> stars. Oh, poor Kenya. Oh, y'all posted it in the chat. Oh, did poor they, Kenya. Did they really think Kenya was going to last that long? It's like all white people that look at that show. I mean, y'all weren't voting for her, so why y'all think she was going to keep lasting? What happened? She was just on. I, I played the whole video for y'all, and she was begging for votes. <laughs> <laughs> and Michelle, I also wanted to mention, like, um, I seen that um, Andy had, like, a whole special on him the other day on CNN. Oh, Yeah, really? it, it seemed very much like a special that would air when somebody's, like, not going to be doing that job anymore. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like when somebody like a, was, like uh, a little montage. It was a timeline. You know what I'm saying? From the beginning, oh. always. It just seemed strange. So I just wanted to mention that maybe something going on because I found that very strange. Like they don't do stuff mm -hmm. like that. Is that that maybe why he collected his coins? He got the book published. You know, uh, under his umbrella, Andy Cohen Publishing. You know, right. so perhaps you know he's spilling all the tea on himself and everybody else so that he can get these coins. I don't know. Yep, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I didn't even know that was his um, book company that published it, so that's interesting to know. Because I had a couple of negative things about him, right, from mm -hmm. Candace that said that he was rude to her and didn't care and just wanted to use their money to feed his kid or something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that, it was very interesting. That's what I heard, and I was the first thing person I thought about was Nene. I'm like, okay, well, Nene's about to be able to finally be like, see, I told y'all so, because uh -huh. based on some of the comments that I heard that came out of there, and I'm pretty sure I could, I'll DM you and send it to you where I heard it, but that's what it, that's what it said, Candace said, like, because he wouldn't answer the phone call for her after oh, wow. the big fight that they had. 
but he was talking to Monique and she kind of went off and she said she told him that to his face. Oh, and, wow. Yeah, yeah, so <sighs> people well, okay. are coming forward. But yeah, I just wanted to call in real quickly. Well, I appreciate your hands. No I'm problem. Still on the Patreon tonight. Yeah, you're gonna see me. I got the app downloaded, so I don't okay. have to set that up right now. <laughs> okay. I right. appreciate you for calling in. All right, no problem. Have a good night. All right, bye. Right, bye bye. Okay, is nobody else back here with the camera on, y'all? You said it's in Discord. What's it? Oh, the the um quotes. I've seen a lot of those book quotes circulating. I've been reading them. I'm I'm just like. I get it. It's a little bit of tea because it's some stuff that we didn't know about, you know, certain situations that happen. But my thing is, I just think about, you know, what is the goal of uh, putting this out? Like, and then Andy is putting it out and Andy put his stamp on it. And Andy allowed all these things to be said. So it's just giving me uh, publicity or, you know, it's a reason for it. But, you know, we'll see. You know, it all plays out in the end. The truth always comes out, honey. The Truth always comes out. Um, okay, we're gonna go to Patreon um, a little later. Um, I gotta run some errands. Okay, but uh, I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. Uh, I won't. Look, I wanted to take a few more calls, but nobody's on camera. Nobody's on camera. Y'all can't be calling in and don't be on camera. Okay. Um, anywho, you said exploitation, Andy. Okay. Uh, I want to thank everybody who contributed to the stream tonight. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, uh, after this live, you know, are y'all going to tune in to Real Housewives of Atlanta? Are you feeling this cast? Are they really going to bond together? We got Candy, Kenya, Drew, uh, Marlo, Sheree. Did I miss anybody? Candy, Kenya, Drew, Marlo, Sheree. Oh, yeah, I said Candy, Kenya, Drew, Marlo, Sheree. Who else? Who did I miss? Oh, and a new girl, Sonya, Sonya, Sonya. So uh, you, we got to figure out what's going on. And then Portia Show, Portia Show being a lead in to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's under the Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's starting November 28th or somewhere like that. So basically it started where the Real Housewives of Atlanta would have normally started. Normally they start around November 4th or something. They're about two weeks late. So they are really struggling. You know, they, the, the ratings last year was in the crapper. They lost over 2 million uh, viewers, you know, because of Nene and her boycott and everything. And so now they really struggling. I don't know what the deal is. So we'll see. We'll see. You said boycott Bravo. Y'all still boycott. Let me know. Let me know. Go ahead, like this video and subscribe, y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. Good night. Y'all know I ain't got no money. I'm not She's rich. Very like, rich honey. I'm not rich this like you. Very rich. <laughs> she been in being the way though. I was in being Okay. No, we came yeah. in business. Right. Nah. -uh. I was 20, 20, 2007. You been in business. That's true. I've been in business. She's a very rich bitch. Well, she's just a bitch. <laughs>